Welcome back. Now let us wrap up our lesson. Let us look into our concept map recap. Remember we looked into the causes of conflict. Then we also resolved to how to solve the conflict, which is now your conflict resolution steps. Then we looked into the meaning of grievance to say this is a complaint in the workplace. And then you have to know how to deal with such. Hence, we talked about the grievance procedure, which included reporting to the supervisor verbally and getting the issue or trying to get the issue to be solved within three to five days. And then if it is not solved, you move to the next level of management. If it is not solved, you go to top, which is the last. Then if the organization fails, you move to CCMA. If CCMA also fails, then you appeal their decision via the labor court. So that was your grievance procedure. Then we also had difficult personalities to say, how do you deal with someone who's over agreeing? How do you deal with someone who's negative? And also be able to deal with experts and also deal with people who are quiet in the workplace. So you need to come up with the solution because as I said with difficult personalities it doesn't mean these people are doing misconduct they are just being difficult so when you look into that try to fix their attitude or their personality so that it can contribute to the productivity of the business and then dealing with difficult employees this is basically generally to say how can you deal with them make sure that you understand their personality meet with them privately so that they become at ease and make your intentions clear so that they understand that the aim is to solve the matter and give them a deadline to change their difficult personality in order for harmony to be achieved in the workplace and then we look into new ways new words for this lesson was the term conflict which refers to a clash of opinions or ideas in the workplace we also had the term grievance which is when an employee has a problem or a complaint in the workplace that was basically the core part of our lesson then common errors that are normally done when it comes to this part of the lesson which is conflict management many learners fail to identify the correct difficult personality from the scenario or statement and then learners provide unclear sentences when responding to questions on the correct procedure to deal with the grievance in the workplace and again they sometimes confuse conflict uh, resolution steps with the grievance procedure. So keep that in mind. Just know that with grievance this would basically take different levels. Top middle and low would be consulted, CCMA would be consulted, and the labor court. But with, CC, with conflict management or conflict resolution, we don't have to involve CCMA. This is just an internal matter that has to be solved by a manager in the workplace. And then let me pose this challenging question for you for practice purpose, advise businesses on how to handle conflict in the workplace. So this is basically the conflict resolution steps. So look into them try to remember them so that you become the best learner you are. Because remember, this prepares you to be a proper manager and be able to deal with proper people's skills in future. So with that being said, thank you for watching this lesson. Keep well. Goodbye.